fuck? Um, let me get up here with. I like to. Now at nighttime, believe it or not, I like to be up here with these cars. And the reason I like to be up here is because they add distance to the ability to me to see. So it's my light. If my light can reach their car, now you can see their light. So now it gives me a clear, I mean like, and he just turned his high beams off. But it really helps me out being able to see at night. So I, I don't like to be in their blind spot, but I definitely like to be up here by them. That's just my personal preference because they can help me see the road. Now I'm in the middle lane and they're in left and right lanes and I'm in sixth gear now. So I like to stay right with these guys because they're gonna light up the road for me. And I appreciate that. <laughs> now I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, but the whole road's lit. And that's that's really important. So because you don't want no, no surprises. And I really had to lean on you had to lean on this one. Hey, uh this guy's slowing down though. But still the whole road's lit. And I don't mind. I can see me and him together. We're good. Just cruise along and I don't mind just I just stay in the pocket. I don't have to go fast. Speed limit 60, but you don't have to. I mean, there's nothing saying that you have to go fast if you don't want to. I prefer being able to see the road over speed any day. Let me catch up to him because I was losing a little bit of my disc, my my visibility. But see now, his light. You can see how I can see all three sides of the road. That is just beautiful. Because you guys know as motorcyclists, right? It's really important to have visibility. So we're all, we just ride together. I'm going to ride on out with these guys. Just stay in the pocket. So once again, it is Friday. Thank the Lord for another week. Uh, I think I'm going to have to clean my chain. Do, 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 do. Welcome to your Friday Night Ride, starring yours truly, Curtis Walker, and his Ninja 2024 500 KRT SE, otherwise known as Metaluse. Metaluse. That's the name of my bike, guys. Metaluse. Metaluse. It's like uh, Latin, Latin, Spanish. Mira, as in look. And Lucy as the girl, like Lucy, 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 middle Lucy. Downhill. I remember the first time that I did this downhill, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is scary." And it still can be, right? Going over these hills and going downhill, but it's not as scary as it was the first time I did it. And that's the worst thing that you're looking for when you're doing these things too. It's like I'll say, say, you know, they say middle, 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 inside, middle, inside inside middle outside right now i'm middle 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 <laughs> the only problem with that is like i'm also looking down i'm looking up but i'm looking down because unfortunately you know you don't want to hit a, like an all spot especially when you're leaning like this for me at least now some people you know like i said let me catch up get back up here with these people because i was taking my time through the, through the turns Oh yeah. She can move, baby. She can move. Get over here. Get ready to make this turn to the left. Thank you guys for escorting me home. At least through this part of it. I really appreciate that lighting, lighting up the road. There's water right there, I can see it, yep. Little downshift real quick. I see something right there, I just don't know what it is. I see it coming. Oh, that's actually way down there. It just seemed like it was closer.
try to blip the throttle. That wasn't a good one, because I kind of jerked for it a little bit. <sighs> so, this is like the midway mark all the way back home. I'm looking at that car like, please don't do it, brother. I'll put my visor down because the speed limit is... It modulates. From, um, 55 to 65. But there's a lot of traffic on this road. Everybody's got their high beams on. They're coming right at me. But it does light up the road. So it's just concentrating. When it's like that, I, my secret is um, not being able to see is uh, I look at the the yellow line or the white line and I forget about the road and I say okay the yellow line or the white line is gonna show tell me where I need to go and it does and then you know you're, you're out of that so all these people have their high beams on because this is a really dark road really good distance right now I'm, I'm pretty much the middle distance from the car in front of me and the cars behind me which you cannot see you have to look at my mirror and you can see them and uh that gives me a little bit of safety zone the ability to relax of course I'm riding my ride but it's also like keeps you out of the um, danger zone for the most part not that you're not that you are but it minimizes the risk and uh, when you're going back on nights like this, when the high beams are on, I'm hugging the outside. Unless there's something that I need to swerve out of the way, or, you know, I I'd rather be over here than, than near them. Because we're both riding with our high beams on, and their visibility is better than mine. At least I think so. I know when I'm in a car, my visibility as a, a, a car with high beams on is much better than it is when I'm at the bike. And remember, <coughs> excuse me I wear glasses at night to extend my visit to extend my range of accurately seeing things clearly now this light I'm trying to to beat it but at the same time I'm not because it's an intersection and I want to be seen and I'm looking hard I'm looking hard I don't see anything coming out that gas station particularly and this guy's stopping right here so that's good and when you see me put my hands up and stuff like that, that is more signaling to the to the um the oncoming traffic that hey I'm here. I'm trying to get their attention. Hey, I'm here, please see me. Then the, the of course the the thing that I love about the bikes is that you can stop faster. I don't know necessarily faster than a car, but your speed, your weight, and the distance all come in factors. So I, uh, uh, you know, I, I want to do myself a favor. Like I can't see right there because they're over here. But now that we're getting out this thing here, I downshifted into fifth gear because I'm in my 40s on my bike. Here comes the bump. Do a little quick little swerve. Get my high beams off so I can do my flashing because of where we're at. downshift all right getting the first gear come to a nice even stop oh at least I tried <laughs> Thank you.
huh we're almost we got here quick right and that's one things that i like about that road not a lot of lights um not a lot of traffic and if you just ride your ride um you know you get here pretty quick so once we cross this area right here this is 377 we cross this area then it's just uh down a few lights is it no no it's down a few lights and then there's another bridge and then um we're pretty much uh back in um fort worth oh, i hear a cop behind me I don't know if he's pulling me or he's pulling somebody else. He's pulling. He's pulling somebody else. I was about to say, I didn't do anything wrong. So I was right. I was right. He wasn't pulling me. So about the, Cause I was like, I know I wasn't speeding in that area. All right, there must be a, you see that yellow and red right there? So that gives me every indication that there's going to be a train. 